And coming soon, San Antonio will be celebrating its first ever Dia de los Muertos River Parade. And starting this weekend, you will begin seeing skulls on display in some popular places around town like La Vida and the Pearl area. Yeah, our Stephanie Cerna talked with some of the artists who helped create what you can now see. I had this interest in covering the whole thing in mirrors, but it wasn't going to be practical for the scale of it. Andy Benavides sharing with us today what his initial thoughts had been for his piece titled Regalo, which means gift. On many levels was uh, a gift to the ancestral memories as well as a literal gift to my city. Yeah. A team of eight local artists have been working on these life-size fiberglass skulls, which are brought in from Mexico. Each artist has their own take on the project's theme, which is celebration of life. Sort of took me back to like my grandmother's backyard, where she was just a collector of things. And whether it was there or not, I remembered a tile-covered skull. Another local artist, Christina Noriega, titled her piece La Lucha Sigue, meaning the fight continues. It's a memorial to Emma Tenayuca, and Christina tells us her grandmother was a pecan sheller, so this piece had a personal meaning as well. Andy Benavides tells us being a part of this inaugural project is an honor. Anytime I get an opportunity like this, I take it because it's, you know, public uh, information and it's celebrating our culture. So it's all the, all the right things and all the beautiful qualities of what our city's about and what we're about culturally. And he says in addition to the eight schools worked on here locally, there will be eight more produced by artists in Mexico City. And when this project is complete, there will be about 16 schools. And starting this weekend, they'll be placed around San Antonio. But a lot of them will be here at La Vita. Stephanie Serna, Case at 12 News.